50. I would have preferred to see a raise there, Jesse, to be honest. He could have uh, picked the blinds up, not allowed them to see a cheap flop, especially when you've got the chip leader sitting there with all those chips. Pass. Hung not even wanting to call for 25, but Sean will take the freebie, and we are head up here, board coming down. Two plays. And that's what happens. Absolutely, Jesse. That's what happens when you don't raise pre-flop. You allow someone to see the flop with a pile of goo and they catch a bit of it. Raised to 200. And now he's compounding oh the mistake. <laughs> Sean's not the sort of person who's going to lay his hand down straight away. But he's not going to believe him for an overpair. Gordon needs an ace or jack, or he's going to have to keep Check. on bluffing. Check. He raised Sean on Two. the flop, 200. and now he's banging and bashing it in. Trouble is, he's bet the same amount. Is this gonna? Is the queen gonna scare him off, or is he gonna call again? No, he's won. He's won it for him. Very lucky there. He should have bet a bit more on the turn, but uh, he won the pot anyway. Well, Gordon playing with his own strategy, brute force and a bit of bluff, taking that pot down. What I've learned from watching poker on tally is that um, you need a, a very good bluffer. So you do, and it's not always the cards. It's how you play them. I'm gonna play tight. But if I don't get the cards and uh, get an opportunity to bluff, I'll bluff. Gordon moves up to second place after that hand, while Hung Luke is still out in front with 28-25. Simon's the short stack with 13.50. Blinds 25 and 50. It's Gordon Murray in the big blind. Of course, those blinds are forced bets, which get the action going. Race at 200. Chris Higgins under the gun. He had the opportunity to look at his cards before making Pass. a bet. And uh, well, that's why he's chosen to raise. Raise to 100 with the two tens. Pass. Call. Call. Wow. Pass. Pass. Uh, Hung's in position there. He's, he's on the button. Pass. He's probably pretty confident that he can outplay Chris if he thinks Chris has missed the flop. Two players. Two hundred. And now Chris is betting two hundred. He can't like that flop. Two red tens and an all black board. And Hunk's sitting here. He's, he's made bottom pair. It's just a question of whether he thinks that Chris has got any of this or whether he's just representing a hand. Chris might think he's bluffing, but he's not. And we've seen Hung move before the flop, but Making a move on the flop's a whole different part of poker. Well, one of the things Hung's thinking is, why would he bet if he's made a flush? I'll raise another one. Or two. And another two. Yeah. Raise okay. to 400. Minimum raise from Hung. It almost looks like he wants a call. And uh, Chris is going to check back here to see if he's got the tennis spades. No, they're still red. Unfortunately not. Oh, this pot's getting big, <laughs> and neither one of these guys can like their hand. Do they know where they're at? Hung's, oh my. Any spade would now make a flush, but Check. neither have it. Check. Oh, this now this is showing some class here from Hung. He knows that there's no way that Chris has got a flush. I'll stick all that in, 400. I think this is more. I think you're looking at possibly your heat winner here, Jesse. This this guy is is, is uh, deserving of a shot at the final the way he's playing today in these early stages. He's totally outclassing these opponents. Well, there's nothing Chris can do about it. Not a player in the world would call right there. Pair of lonely fours, four spades on the board. Does that stop Hung Luke? Not a bit. He stuck the money in like he had an ace high flush. Oh, my Lord. So the blinds have been raised 1,500 now. And Simon, they have to raise the blinds. That's what keeps the action moving in a tournament. And if they never raise the blinds, uh, well, we could be here for days. <laughs> I think we would be, yes. <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's what makes the players play. Absolutely. The blinds increase, and uh, virtually you're, you're forced into a position where you have to start playing some hands. And of course, that's what makes this that's game fast. exciting. So hung under the gun, laying it down. But Sean waiting patiently with nice. the ace-jack, and 200 now is only 
double the bet, whereas before it might have been bigger. And here comes Gordon. 500. Well, I like this raise by Gordon. He's, he's only raised it up another 300. He's inducing Sean to call here. Pass. He's giving Gordon a hard look. This is the second time Gordon has raised Sean. This could be a big pot, Jesse. It's a massive pot. Chris Higgins laid down ace jack as well. Two plays. He's already over a thousand in. Check. I'm all in. All in. <laughs> Gordon's wasting no time. <laughs> Come over the top of this. Well, this, I can't blame him. You know, there's a there's a nice few chips out there to win, Pass. and uh, he's happy to pick those chips up and put himself into a strong <laughs> second position. And he's done Sean the favor of showing the Cowboys. Sean knows he made a good fold there on the flop. Hundred pounds on Simon here. Pass. Hung from the button, King. That could be a playable hand here. Raised to three hundred. He's tripled the bet. Quick call oh. from Sean Pass. with a far Pass. better hand. Well, I like this play from Sean. He he wants to take on uh, Hung. He's chip leader and he wants to get as many of those chips as possible. He could have just quickly re-raised and picked it up there and then. But he's decided to take a flop. Let's hope it works out for him. 700 in the kitty. Two players. And that is a perfect flop for Sean. Does he want to play the trapper? Well, he's glanced down at his chips here, and he's, he's, that usually means he's going to make a bet. In actual fact, he would be better off checking here and allowing uh, Hung to represent a hand. This is the first bit of resistance that Hung has met up with. Where if he makes a move, it'll be very wrong. We'll get to see his exit strategy here, Simon. Surely he can't be thinking of raising. Not so, no. He's thinking about what's happening here. The fact that Sean is looking at him, he might be aware that this is a common tell that a player has, uh, has got a hand. When they stare at you, it's normally in defiance. The reason Hung's taking his time here, he wants to try and say to the players, look, you know, I'm dominating this table. I had a hand. Oh boy, and he wants, he wants to try and outplay. He wants to try and outplay Sean on the turn. This, this may be a slight weakness in his game here. He's called the 200, here's the turn, and that has been a huge card for Hung Luke. He's got a straight draw, a flush draw. Now, this is lovely play by Sean. Now he's checked it to allow uh, Hung to represent something. And although Hung's got the massive oh. draw, Sean's got the real hand any here. Any king, any five, any ten, any club, and he's hit the club on the river. Check. That's a flush. I'm all in. All in. And what an unbelievable card for Hung Luke on this river, Simon. How is Sean going to lay this oh. hand down? Oh, he's dear. taking him out. Okay, we've got an all in. It's uh, Sean is all in, playing against Hung. Hung shows king, six of clubs. He made a flush, king high, and uh, ace, queen for Sean. He has a pair of queens, which is not enough. Hung wins the pot, and Sean is our first player out. Sean Ridge coats okay, aluminum. He has <laughs> just been struck okay. by lightning. <laughs> Wet feet on the cement. He is out of here. Compared to online gaming, live game is absolutely incredible. The stress is unbelievable. It's easy to sit at home in your chair and watch the telly and tell you what they should and shouldn't do. But when you're sitting in that chair, that's hard. Very, very hard. Thought he was bluffing when he went all in because he was chip leader. And that's what you get when you call the bluff. But I'd stacked a couple of winning hands before that. King three. King three came in the middle. Six four. Three five two came in the middle. So I wasn't going to stack another good hand. And uh, that's the outcome.